A far north Queensland community is in a race against time to record ancient songs before they're lost forever. Those at the heart of the preservation project say more should be done to teach languages to the next generation. Amelia Turzon reports from Cape York Peninsula. An ancient culture stays alive with one elder's song. His lyrics lead the ceremony and speak of the land and its animals. At Corroborees, the songs have been passed down from father to son for countless generations. I still got the Corroborees shit in my mind all the time. Yeah, they never go away from me. For Colin Lawrence, being a songman is an honour. Traditional languages have been eroded across the country and today few young people speak any Cape York dialects fluently. At the local radio station, they're listening to different music. Most of the younger ones around here, they love the little DJ noise mix, mix up now. Yeah, but I recommend go for country. Colin Lawrence wants them to get back to their roots. They don't know nothing about Corbury or what we sing about. They just don't understand. Unlike previous songmen, he has no apprentice. If I go, who's going to sing it to them? Nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody won't sing the Corby again anymore. A local curator has been recording the songs. Colin Lawrence could be Cowan Yama's last song man. People like old man Colin, they're really anxious that there is something preserved, even if it is only in recordings. But that's only one part of the story, you know. They have to, it has to be a little more intimate than just listening to it on the radio. Young people say it's sad the language is dying. Probably sing myself to sleep every night. <laughs> yeah, if I knew the words. No, it's a funny thing, because the elders say the kids aren't interested and the kids say the elders aren't interested. So we've got to sort of try and break that cycle. For this great-grandfather, the biggest hope lies with the youngest generation. Amelia Turzon, ABC News, Kawanyama.